Hey, buddy. Um, I asked Trish to tell me where you were. You don't mind if I sit down, do you? Thanks. Listen, honey, I can explain my absence for the last three months. Really, I can. See, see, you are the most beautiful woman I've ever known. And, 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 and that can be a little scary, right? I mean, look at, look at this guy. He looks petrified. You know how three months ago I kind of ran out and you at dinner? Yeah, of course you do. Like, I wasn't being rude, Barbara. I was, I was being scared shitless. You see, I kind of wanted to tell you something extremely important, but I, I, mean, I just choked Bar big time. I went home and I cried. I cried. I wept uncontrollably, Barbara. That's not like me. I'm not a weeper. But there I am, reduced to whimpers, because I don't have the guts to tell you that I just, I just want you to... Okay, so I turn on the TV, and there happens to be this documentary about these guys that climb on Everest. Oh. Have you seen it? Yes, that is that when the, I start um, thinking about how brave these guys are and why can't I be more like them? I mean, these mountain men have stared death in the face, but there is no way they would be so anxious to ask if you would just... So, so then it occurred to me, right? I should climb Everest? <laughs> if I climb Everest, moments like this, there'll be a cakewalk. Look, I know I should have told you, but, but I just went. Next thing I know, I'm, I, I'm trapped in this nylon tent at 25,000 feet with a, with a mountaineer named Gus. You know, winds over 100 miles per hour that are throwing grapefruit-sized rocks and, and sheets of ice bigger than manhole covers through the air. All I can think about is you. I've rehearsed this moment in my head over and over. And Stare death in the face, Barb, really. Like those guys off that documentary. And I have to say, looking at you in the face, asking you what I'm about to. It's, it's, it's a lot harder. <laughs> Will you marry me? <laughs>